What's up, everybody? CJ here, and I am here with my cohort. I'll figure this out one of these days. You just want to dance, really. That's what it is. Lynn Brunette. How you doing, man? Hey, hey, shitty. <laughs> Come on now. I guess, I guess that's to be though. We can't have a great day every single no, day. No, we can't. And that's the point. It's today. Oh my God. I thought my son was out of school earlier than he was. So I was there like over an hour early. I sat there for a bit and then I just gave up and went home. And then. And then I finally finished my simple podcast startup guide and I had a bunch of people that wanted it. So I send it out and then I see all over social media today about this sophisticated phishing scam with Google Docs. And what? I'm like, oh my God, this is how I sent it. Now these people are going to think I'm like, it's a scam, but they knew it was coming. So, so I'm like, oh, and then just a bunch of other crap I don't really want to Lynn the scammer. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> Tom Latigard is in the house. <laughs> What's up, Tom? How you doing, my man? So I is like, are you kidding me? Like, I've never ever sent anything via Google Doc. It's usually always been Dropbox. And this is what's floating around the internet. Thank God they knew, but and a bunch of other really I mean that stuff's minor, but um it was showed up. We're here. And that's the point, right? Well, that is the point. And, you know, here's the thing. I didn't have a very good day myself. I ended up having to set up a damn house in the rain. And it just, that, that's never, that that's never a good time to actually have to work outside. No. And, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things. But my day is definitely, definitely was not as bad as yours. I, I I'll give you, I'll give you that one because. Oh, well. Those weren't really bad things, but they were just, they just added and there was, you know, more other crappy, like more you serious know, things. But, you know, I feel like you and I are on the same cycle. When I have a bad day, you have a bad day. When <laughs> you have a great day, I have a great day. <laughs> you, know, you know, maybe, maybe our, our cycles are, Those in, are synced. You know, <laughs> where our cycles are synced. And, uh, <laughs> uh. So at some point tonight, we will probably get on the same page and we'll, we'll yeah. up any a little bit. But we but showed up and that's, that's the point, right? That's part of the grit. We, we showed up, we're professionals, we had commitments and, you know, I knew I'd come here and laugh and it would be great. So it's all good. You know, does it matter five months from now, five years from now? Like, you, you know, know I I say that all the time. I, I always ask myself, when something comes up, I ask myself, is this going to matter tomorrow? If the answer is no, then I don't stress on it. Yeah. And so many people that stress on some stupid shit, they, they always feel like, you know, the moment that they're in right now is the, the moment, the defining moment in their life. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But it's really, not. It's not. I mean, we're here. We're existing. We're, we we were born. We live. We die. Does it really matter what happens in between during the living process? Well, it does, but the shitty things don't. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Tom. Maybe your cycle will sync with us if you stick around. Um, <laughs> and, and anybody else that's joining us. Please hit the share button. Share this out. Share the love. Yeah, share Show us the love. Show us all that love, you know. And I want to we be able to. Yeah, and if you're if you're sitting there on Facebook and you just happen to hit that like or love button or the ha ha button, that would be okay too. Yeah, we we really appreciate it. Yeah, definitely, definitely, we would. Yeah. Tonight we are getting back. We are on questions 10 and 11. It's hard to believe that we're already this far into Grit and Grace yeah. uh, pre-launch. And tomorrow we are launching Grit and Grace. It took a lot of grit to get <laughs> to that point. <laughs> but, you know, I, I think we needed it. I think we needed to show people what grit really was. I think we needed to show people what it takes to launch a show the way we're launching it. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're right. I mean, we've had all kinds of things that come up along the way. We've had technical issues and, and you were out of town. And so that was, you know, when you don't have everything with you, you know, you definitely come up against some things and we're having computer issues and, yeah, I mean, you, you have to roll with the punches. You have to keep pushing through. And that's what we've done. We've, you know, we've done our best to, to do what we said we were going to do, which is huge. And we've showed up every night, no matter what has happened. So, um, yeah. And, and tomorrow night's the night. And, uh, and we've got something that's going to go live tomorrow for those of you watching. Um, all these great questions. We're going to have something for you that's going to go live on the website. Well, I'll tell you more at the end of the show tonight and um, you can pick that up so you can have it in your hot little hands when you join us tomorrow night for our lunch. So if you're here tonight, if you're watching over on Facebook, shoot, shoot us a comment. Let us know who you are. Let us know you're here because we want to be able to acknowledge the fact that you're here and we want to be able to thank you personally. So if you're over there, even if you just put a one and hit the enter button, just let us know you're in the chat room. You're, you're watching along. And if you have any questions whatsoever during tonight's show, please don't hesitate to ask those questions. You know, we, we tend to go off topic from time to time. It happens. And if, if one of those topic changes is something that you're asking please do that i have no problem whatsoever boomy but- my girl boomy best oh, dj boomy, best dj in the u.s of a where's she oh. at where's she live she's in florida but she travels she's going all over djing she that that she's got it going on man and girl if you can get to san diego in august I know a gig where you can hook it up. Yeah. She's, oh, she's awesome. Hey, my sister. Hey, Joanne. Hi, Joanne. <laughs> Love you, Boomy. Yeah, she's awesome. She's hot. She's She's got the vibes. So anybody watching Need a DJ? Boomy Benjamin is your woman. Yeah. Thanks for commenting. Really? Hit share. Hit share. Share this out. So should we get into the questions? Did you type them in? Or were you quick tonight? Or I did. I got them in okay. even before the show. That's that's a different. That's something different. I usually we're going late. We usually we're running a little bit late because I'm a little bit uh, slow at typing. But tonight I I prepared a little bit. So okay. number ten. Number ten. Yeah, For those I'm- of you following following along. We've been giving questions every night for you to assess your grit. So question 10. I have achieved a goal that took years to work. Of work. Oh, years of work. <laughs> I, okay. So I can't read all that well tonight. Achieved a goal that took years of work. Well, you know, yes, yes. I worked my way up. I started, you know, in the podcast thing a long time ago and um yeah it took took years took six seven years to get to to get a little bit higher to launching a network to training other hosts to becoming an owner of an online radio station i mean that's not something i ever thought that i would do when i started out that took a long time that took a long time so what about you Me too. Uh, you know, I started my podcast in 2014. Um, and my podcasting journey actually started long before that in 2003 when we were still called audio, uh, or what were the audio blogs? Yeah. And so, um, yeah, I stuck with it and, you know, with my military experience and everything like that, going through the military, uh, becoming a public affairs assistant, becoming, a uh, a military broadcaster and all that kind of stuff. It was always something that I had worked for. So I, I went, I, I paid my dues. I, I did everything that I thought I had to do to get to where I was at. And then in 2014, when I launched average to awesome and it failed absolutely miserably, I had to continue on and to, 
to the point where now I am known as one of the people who knows how to quickly build an audience and create a show that, you know, is something that a lot of people watch with raw and real. And that, that to me, that that's one of those goals that I've worked on for the past you know, well, I will say three years, but really I started that goal back, you know, 14 years ago in 2003 when I decided I wanted to be a professional broadcaster. Uh-huh. You're breaking up. Oh, no. That's not funny. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, you were, your video was breaking up. Now, my next long term goal is to actually create a video that doesn't break up. I mean, imagine that. <laughs> oh yeah, technical technology. We love it. We hate it. It's like a relationship, isn't it? It is. It is definitely like a relationship. <laughs> okay, um, let's not get off topic. Especially one of those relationships that's uh, goes on and off again. Yeah, you know? yeah. Anyways, let's yeah, back yeah. on topic. So, I have achieved a goal that has took that has. Oh my I god! Extra words. I should not have stopped for that fireball before I got to the studio. <laughs> You're bad. I have achieved a goal that took years of work. So is this very much like you? Mostly like you? Somewhat like you? Not much like you? Or not like you at all? Do you not at all. So pick which one is mostly... is you know, which one fits for you. And this is how the points are going to go. So for that one, if you pick very much, you get five. <laughs> you didn't know what it was, did you? You were waiting. No, I was waiting for you to say it so I could <laughs> no. you know, play along. So very much is uh, you get five points. Mostly like you, you get four points. Somewhat like you, you get three not much, you get two, and not at all like you, you get one. So there you and go. I know, I know a lot of people here. You know, goals are kind of crazy. You know, a lot of people set those goals. Uh, fitness goals comes to mind for the people who's – when people set a fitness goal, that's usually one of the most difficult goals to stand by. And – yeah, because who the hell wants to do that? Do you ever see a runner with a smile on their face? They're not uh, happy to be there. Oh hell no! But you no, know when I go, to the, but when I go to the gym every day, and I do, I go to the gym every single day. It has become not so much about the goal anymore. It's just about the feeling I get when yeah. I finish. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't run. I you you can't talk me into running to save my life if. To be honest with you, if there were a bear, I would take my chances with the bear. I would let everybody else run away, and I would hope that the bear chases after them because I, I would rather take my chances because running is not my thing. Well, you don't only need to outrun the slowest person, right? And then you're safe. That's right. But I'm the slowest person, so I'll take my chances. <laughs> Yeah, you know, yeah, you get addicted to that for sure. But goals, everybody has different ways of going after their goals too. Um, I learned a really great way from um, a business coach that I had. And she had a really different way. And it actually was, it fits for really anything that you do. And it is really, um, really different. Um, Keisha River Shorty and she um, she taught me a great way to do it. And there are different ways. For some people, it's a real, you know, it could be really basic. They just write it down. Um, for some people, there is quite a process. For some people, they do vision boards, all different ways. So, you know, you find what works for you. But I think it's important that we have goals. And grit, that is part of goal setting. And we'll yeah. talk about that more for sure. But it, it plays a big part in it, for sure. All right. So moving on to number 11, there's only 12 questions. So we're really right there at the cusp. So question number 11, I have That's become simple. interested in new pursuit every few months. I have become interested in a new pursuit every few months. There's no have in there, dear. I become. Okay. So I add word. 
How many drinks did you have before you came? Four. (laughs) I become interested in a new pursuit every few months. This is sort of related to some of the other questions, just worded a little bit differently. Um, Yeah, I think uh, if we're talking, you know, our, our career, our work, um, our long-term vision goals for ourselves, if we're switching that up all the time, um, we need, again, you need to have a little bit of closer look at what's really going on there, right? You definitely need to check yourself. Um, you know, I know a lot of people who they'll work at a job for four or five months and then they'll quit. They'll go to a different job for four or five months. They'll quit. They'll, it becomes a repetition. And I don't know if you necessarily call it an interest. Maybe they are basing their career goals on interests more so than uh, taking care of a family or or themselves or whatever it is. But, you know, for me, you know, I've had problems with this in the past, not so much with career, but just, just in general, just, you know, going back to some of the things that we talked about earlier and some of the other questions, you know, they're like hobbies, for example. Yeah. I've, I've gone through several hobbies and they changed every few months. Now that was really in pursuit of what I was passionate about. And once I found what I was passionate about, I really haven't changed a whole lot other than coming up with new ideas. Like we talked about last night, you know, coming up, you know, being in Aries, we come up with new ideas all the time. So new ideas for shows, but I've always stayed with the podcasting and live streaming, uh, a ho- uh, hobby, I guess I call it right now, since I'm not making a whole lot of money with it. It's still a hobby, but um, yeah, it's the it same is, theme. It's within the same theme. Yeah, but it's in the same theme, and I am very passionate about what we do. Yeah. So, other than that, uh, you know, I don't really become interested in new pursuits anymore. It's really not something that's become a problem. Yeah. And I think, again, too, as you get older and you experience new things and you try new things, um, you know, I think as you get older, it it becomes less. You have a better idea of who you are and the things that you want to do. And when you're young, you don't, you know, everything's new, right? So, yeah. But if you are doing that, and then you need to. Is becoming interested in new pursuits because of lack? I can't see it anymore. I'm going to bring it up. On okay. The- so it's becoming interest, interested in new pursuits because of a lack of mission or passion in life. How do you suggest to find their mission that will stick that to they the- will stick to. Okay. Well, Mercy, I'm glad you asked that because here's the thing. You don't know when you're going to find your passion you're going to stumble across it really that's that's how it typically happens when but the main thing is is when you find something you have to take that chance you you don't know if you're going to be a success you don't know if if it's going to be that one true thing that you're totally involved in you have to jump and when when you take that that risk and and a lot of fear comes along with that risk. You know, there's so many things that keep people standing on the ledge for long periods of time. You don't know until you actually try it. And if it's something that just clicks, you'll know it right away. It's not something that's going to take a month to figure out whether you like it or not. If, if it's for you, if it's your passion, if it's your mission, you'll know pretty much instantaneously. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Now, becoming interested in new pursuits, I don't think I don't think that it's because of a lack of a mission or passion. Um, I, I think you could be extremely passionate about things. I, I think that that you can, you know, you want your mission is to leave uh, an impact in this world and to leave a powerful legacy. Uh, so I don't think it's a lack of passion at all. I think, um, you know, trying new things is, is finding your way. And I think sometimes I think that new interests all the time is something underlying that could be fear, fear of failure, fear of success. 
um, fear of disappointing people, fear of not living up to expectations. So I don't think it's a, a lack of, you know, having a strong mission or a passion for something. Um, it's really, you know, you can dig down below that. But I, I believe that just because you try new things doesn't mean you don't have passion. You could be an extremely passionate person. So um, keep trying, jump, um, try new things, uh, talk to people because like we were talking, we were talking about this the other night too. And, you know, people say, you hear a lot about follow your passion, follow your passion. And some people can say, well, that's fine, but what the hell does that mean? And, and what do I do? And what does that look like? Well, sometimes you follow your passion, but sometimes it follows you. And the way it follows you is it follows your trail of the things that you've tried. So if you don't try new things, so don't take this question as it's a bad thing. Some people, um, become creative by trying new things all the time. So, um, Try the new things. Definitely talk to people, get an idea because sometimes you could be extremely passionate about something that you didn't even know existed or that was possible for you. So talk to people and, and try different things and, and, and you will, you will find your path in there for sure. But I don't believe that it's because you don't have passion for life. For sure. You know, yeah. and that's, that's what you said there is extremely important. You, you have to live the life that you love. I mean, we get such a short period of time. When you think about the grand scheme of things, uh, of the overall lifespan, we've, we've got maybe, you know, 80, 90 years if we're lucky. But for the most part, we, we really have such a short period of time. And we, you know, tomorrow's never promised. So if you're not willing to just go ahead and try whatever it is that you just want to try, I mean, it doesn't matter what it, whether it be skydiving as the extreme or maybe you just want to get out there and get on a stage and talk in front of somebody. I know for most people, they put that number two as, as fear. They would rather, they would, a lot of people would rather die rather than talk in front of a bunch of people. Uh -huh. So, whether no matter what it is, if it scares you and if it excites you, go ahead, try it out because you don't know how you're going to react to it until you've actually done it. You know, it's that can be tough. Yeah, you know, absolutely, absolutely. Tough. Tough. Yeah. So how do we score? How do we score this question? So on this question, I become interested in new pursuits every few months. Is that very much like you? mostly like you, somewhat like you, not much like you, or not like you at all. So pick the one that's best for you. And to score the numbers for that, if you said that it's very much like you, you get one. If it's mostly like you, you get two. Somewhat like you, you get three. Not much like you, four. And not like you at all, you get five points. Five whole points, if that's not much like you. You know what? Here's out. I'm going to uh, break a little bit here. And I didn't like this question because I <laughs> love to try new things. I absolutely like love to try new things. And I don't yeah. think, you know, when it says I become interested in new pursuit every few months, I get interested in a new pursuit almost every few days. Dates. But I think you you have to separate it from so if we're we're doing this test on grit, this is this isn't just what you want to do in your spare time. We can't because you can become interested in new things every few months. And you have to answer this question from the viewpoint of um the work that you want to do, the legacy you want to leave, um, your career. I think we need to look at it that way. Um, long separated of what you're trying to accomplish long term. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you have to answer it that way. And um, and we're not giving you the last question. You have to come back tomorrow night for our launch and we're going to do the final question um, with the scoring. And then you can find out where you are on the grit skill test. And I have to redo it because I looked at some of my responses and I thought, what the hell? Was I on drugs? Bye, Boomy. Thanks for joining. 
rock no, star I, DJ, I, Boomy Benjamin. Uh, uh, Remember that, everybody. Boomy Benjamin. Yes. Get in touch with me. Give me a friend. Send me a friend's request. Get in touch with me. Send me a private message. I've got some awesome things that uh, that she's are coming wicked. up. She's, she's wicked and good. If you like to travel, this could be well worth your time. I promise you that. She does. She does. Yeah. She travels all around doing it. So that was a goal. And she see, she's done some different things. So Boomy, I will tell you, Boomy is also a graphic artist. So she's done my logos for me, for my coaching practice. And um, so she does graphic design work as well. But, and she's done a couple other little things, but the DJing, that is her big thing. So she, you know, went along and doing different things, but that was her ultimate, like, that's what she had as her goal. So she's a perfect example of, of someone who's got grit. Yeah. Living life on her own terms. I love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Well, Everybody, I want to let you guys know, if you really enjoy doing uh, the show, if you like anything that we've been going on, if you've been following along, please go on over to Grit and Grace TV, and, uh, gritandgracetv.com. Leave us a comment. Let us know how we're doing. And you know what? If there's something that we can improve on, please let us know, because those are the things that are extremely important to us. And tomorrow night, we are actually launching. This is just a pre-launch. I mean, imagine what it's going to be like in the show. We've got some amazing topics coming up. I guarantee you the topics that we're going to be talking about will make you think completely different. I mean, think about just just as a, just a simple example. Men and women, we think differently. We don't always see eye to sure. eye. We are going to eliminate that that boundary, that that seemingly invisible line where men and women can't communicate. We are going to eliminate that completely. You are going to get the no bullshit take on what women believe and what men believe. And we're going to talk about that. And we are going to just destroy <laughs> all those boundaries. I guarantee you, we're going to have such a great time. You're not going to want to miss Grit and Grace TV. But we are going to be at a different time, though. We are. Yes. Yes, we are. We are going to be at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. That's right. So that'll be our regular time Thursday nights, every Thursday at that time. 6, 6 Pacific. We're both having mouth problems tonight. Jeez. So, yeah, be sure to join us and, um, yeah, visit the website and leave us a comment. Uh, like our Facebook page, uh, Grit and Grace TV on Facebook. And, yeah, if you have a question, anything, we, um, we are going to have a great segment on every show called Bring okay. It. Tell them about Bring It. Come on, tell them. <laughs> and we want to answer your questions from moral dilemmas to monumental life decisions. Um, you know, we've, we're both – trained life coaches um we're gonna our, we're gonna use our training our expertise our experience we'll give you a different perspective hell even if you have a bet with your friends um send that in because it, it you know it will be fun right so if you you can uh, ask a question anonymously even because i know some people are uncomfortable but you can go to our website click on the ask a question tab and ask your question Ask, you know, it could be about podcasting, could be about business, could be about something with your partner. It could be about raising two girls who are preteens or in their teens <laughs> and ask dad to go get harpoons for them. <laughs> Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Oh. This is my favorite part of the night. This oh is my, God. my favorite part of the night. When I can crack Lynn and make her laugh like that. Oh my God, that that makes my night. Sometimes you shock me. Every night, though, you say something I could grab onto and run with, and I hold my tongue. <laughs> you know, and it's but only going to be better. For. Have a good time, right? Have a good time, and we want you to have a good time. So, thank you for joining us. Share this out. Tell your friends about it. You know, we want to have contests in the future. We want to give away some stuff. This is really, you know, life takes grit. 
and grace. It takes grit to get up every morning and go through life. It takes grace to enjoy the moments and to see the, the real value behind the moments in life. And we want to talk about those times. We want to, we want to shed some light on, on the things that we all deal with all the time, but we want to have fun because you've got to have laughter. You've got to have laughter. So send us some Live. jokes even. Yeah, live, love, and laugh. That's so right. thank you, Tom. Thank you, Joanne. Thanks, Mercy. Mercy. Thank you. Was it Boomy? Boomy. <laughs> Boomy Benjamin. Boomy. Boomy Benjamin. Thank you. Thank you all for watching tonight. Yeah. Thank you for commenting. We love each and every one of you. The reason why we do this show is for you. You are the most important part of Grit and Grace TV. Thank you, everybody. And remember, you don't have to be perfect to be the perfect solution. That's right. Peace. Stay wild. At some point, this is going to end.